Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. We're going to tap into a love reading for you guys today. See what messages spirit has about that special person on your mind, your heart, your spirit. Please do remember this is a general reading. Sometimes the roles can even be reversed. So please take it how it resonates. If it resonates for you, all right? I appreciate you Virgo and I do pray that this reading will find you all well. Now listen, I know that more than a few times now, more than a few times, I have gotten um, that Miley Cyrus song, Flowers. For you guys, I can buy myself flowers, uh, write my name in the sand. Basically, I can do all the things for myself, okay? That somebody else that I would want someone else to do or that I used to want someone else to do. So perhaps some of you, okay, have been on some type of self-love journey, okay? Um, some of you could have been detaching from a past relationship where you guys were truly, like, really deeply intertwined, okay? Um, independence, okay? Yeah, that's the word that they're giving me, independence. All right, let's tap in. The temperance card, some of you dealing with a Sagittarius. That's it though, that's the healing, that's the self-love, that's the overall energy that we're dealing with today, okay? And the high priestess, yes. You have deepened your spirituality, your relationship with yourself, okay? Yeah, the three of cups. You are enjoying yourself more. You're allowing yourself to let your hair down more, have more fun, you know. Some of you are just starting to go back out with your friends, maybe meeting new friends, you know. All right, how's this person thinking about Virgo at this time? The Emperor, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, okay. And the Page of Swords here, pride, okay? It feels like pride's getting in this person's way of speaking whatever it is that they need to voice with the Page of Swords. The Fool could be getting in their way of asking you for a new beginning. We do have two Aries cards out here too, so some of you definitely dealing with an Aries, but like confirmation on that new beginning. This person could just be very much, yeah, like I said, sitting on their pride. Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, kind of waiting for you to quote unquote come around and swallow your pride. If, if you, you know, have any about this. How do you think about this person, Virgo? Thank you. The Empress in reverse. Oh, shit. The Emperor and the Empress here. Like, that's supposed to be a perfect match, right? The Emperor, the Empress. That's supposed to be a perfect match. Your Empress came out in reverse. The world is on the bottom. You used to be, this used to be the perfect match. It used to be the perfect thing. Some of you, it used to be a marriage. You know what I'm saying? It used to be the perfect thing. The world here, it's not though. The sun, you woke up about something. Some of you dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. The mother star, okay? The strength card, the eight of cups. Holy crap, okay? Some of you, okay, a lot of messages here. Some of you became a mom and that changed everything. Okay, or you became a dad and that changed everything. Some of you got some very keen advice from a trusted feminine in your life and whatever it is, okay, whatever happened, the strength in the eight of cups here tells me that something changed and through that change, you mustered up the courage and the strength that you never knew you had to walk away or, you know, if you haven't walked away, then you just started tending to yourself more, you know, giving yourself the things that you rightfully deserve in this life that everybody you know rightfully deserves in this life having a good time laughter fun you know freedom okay space the four of wands yeah some of you this was like the real deal a holy field okay like marriage the magician the seven of pentacles this person wants to get you back okay four of wands Okay, there is some type of family structure here. Maybe you know their family. Again, this seems like you guys were at one point very intertwined in each other's lives. Okay. The star and the six of swords, both Aquarius energy. So some of you could be dealing with that. But yeah, some of you may have even taken... <laughs> they're giving me the the phrase leave of absence. I don't think that that's fitting here, but some of you definitely took a break. You walked away. Some of you like physically left, you know, their space, you know, so they don't physically get to see you as often. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. What's this? The Knight of Wands here. The Two of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. I feel like your feelings go back and forth for this person. You know, it's like, 
at some moments you remember all the great times and it's like okay you know maybe and then also i feel like at sometimes you're you're just wanting to get the hell on you know yeah the high priestess in the tower because in the back of your mind something is telling you that it won't be good for long you know like the the whatever you're feeling in that moment you feel like it's fleeting you know yeah seven of swords two of pentacles the death card the nine of cups okay somebody dealing with a scorpio pisces is very hard for this person to change there are a lot of things that this person just does not want to change or has been stubborn about and that's been yeah knight of pentacles they're moving very slow and that makes sense okay this emperor that comes out uh they give me a little bit stubborn you know they're like uh you know they're not going to do it because you told them to do it type of thing you feel me so we're, we're dealing with that okay the queen of wands and listen okay ten of swords here oh okay because i was about to say when the queen of wands came out i was about to say and listen you have a little comp you know you got a lot of confidence and pride too over here however this ten of swords put it into perspective and it feels like you were pushed to a point of having to be more stern having to be more yeah just more assertive you know what i mean because this person just kept trying to run over you or thinking that because maybe you were forgiving about one thing that you would be forgiving about all things um not saying you're not you know okay yeah ten of wands it's like each of these swords and the ten of swords were getting heavy and it, it became the ten of wands you know what i'm saying now you're carrying this person's baggage purse you know plus whatever else you may be dealing with on a personal level you know so i do see that you had to change and with the empress in reverse remember that coming out you know it really got you out of your flow you started not to feel like yourself okay because um yeah okay okay the five of wands the eight of swords the four of pentacles they want you to like fight for them the two of wands ten of cups and the creator if you have kids with this person you know they want you to just grin and bear it uh for the kids injustice here if you guys are like have some type of business matter together i feel like this person is just like well oh, just come on like well let's just stay together you know for the business so that we can keep doing all the plans that we have especially if you guys have kids i feel like super emphasis on that okay yeah the hermit in reverse three of wands and the world here it's like ooh. This feels weird i won't say you know i don't want to say like this person doesn't care right because you know who knows but with the hermit in reverse it does feel like though this person might not be as emotionally tapped in okay that like you perhaps okay because it does feel like with the hermit in reverse it your feelings things are kind of trumping your feelings you know what i mean um it's like things seem more important right now at least to this person than how you truly and genuinely feel deeply okay and it looks like some kind of plans that you guys had three of wands the world here uh they could be waiting to hear back from something like say for instance i'm just going to give an example you guys applied i don't know for something together and they're like oh, well let's just wait you know what i'm saying like let's just wait till we get the approval letter or something you know i don't know Okay. Others of you, it does feel like this person wants you to like fight for them. What do you want? Thank you. The tower. I just want it to be over. I just, what song is that? That's I just want it to be over. Wow, that's Keisha Cole. Yes, King of Swords, Page of Swords. Are you trying to get out of this, Virgo? <laughs> what do you want? The Devil, The Tower. Oh, what is this song? Oh, God, I can't think of it. Ten of Swords and the Lovers. 
Virgo, I feel like you're trying to escape this. Could be a Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini. It feels like you just want them to mess up one more time. Something feels like, I don't know, you might be throwing a towel in, honestly. You might be at your wit's end. It really feels like you're just, you're just kind of wanting out. And that's deep. That's deep. Okay. What are their intentions towards the Virgo? Page of Wands, communication. Two of Swords. The Creator, still very stubborn though. Two of Swords, still very indecisive. I haven't made like a definite decision about something. Okay. Okay, the Star. Judgment. And the World, they might ask for more time about something, okay? The Star. They could want to communicate about healing, about how you guys can move forward. Um, that two of swords could represent them just not knowing exactly what that might look like or what y'all need to do or how far in the future they see for you guys. Yeah, the moon, the four of cups here. Seven of wands and the six of cups. Tell me about the communication. I was trying to communicate with this. The hermit card, you're getting back to yourself. Ooh, and the hangman. And you might be a little bit more distant, you know, from this person. Ooh, and the eight of cups. I'm telling you, you, I feel like you've thrown the towel in. I feel like a lot of you Virgos have already mentally, emotionally left this connection. Or, if, you know, like if you're still physically with this person, you've checked out mentally, emotionally. Or if you're not there... Um, mentally and emotionally you checked out physically like you left you know and now you're just detaching mentally and emotionally okay justice in reverse yeah mm -hmm. strength two of wands yeah their pride is still still very much in the way still very much in the way um and i don't what are these plans that you guys had because this person's not letting it go i mean like they are gung ho oh, about these plans okay like damn what kind of plans y'all had because they are not letting it go okay please give me one card to wrap up for those of you please all right we have the new moon in libra here with no you are loved. Did we not start this reading talking about self-love journey, finding independence? In fact, our overall energy was the temperance card. All right, so I feel that. I feel that for you, Virgo, and that's that's beautiful. Keep keep on that journey wherever it might lead you. You just never know, but be open to it, all right? I appreciate you guys. I wish you all the best, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.